Hi, welcome back to Maria's Kitchen. I am so excited to be here with you and I thought I would pop in and do a midweek show because Halloween is Saturday and I heard that no one is going door to door. So I thought in my head, how about if we do something at home, which some families will be getting together in their homes and make this wonderful googly eye treat for the kids and it's gonna be so fun. So I'll be right back to go over the ingredients for you and take a peek. I gotta show you real quick. It's so adorable. We're gonna put some googly eyes and I'm gonna show you how to do that little uh, web and you're gonna have so much fun. I had an idea, instead of buying a bunch of uh, candies, you can go ahead and just get the bark chips here. I got white and I've got chocolate, which will be for this recipe. And you can get extra candies all on the side like I have here some gummy worms and I've got some M&Ms and some chocolate chip white ones and some candy corn of course and the kids can actually make their own mixtures and make their own candy bark which will be really fun for them so this is an idea okay so what I'm going to use today is just a regular uh pie tin and I'm we're going to do it right in here but you can use um anything you want like a plate you can use uh wax paper but I'm just going to do a little round so you'll need some spray to spray in here, some cooking spray. You will need, of course, the main ingredient is going to be these candy chips, the meltable ones. I got this one at Winco, and this one I got at Michael's or Joann's. You can get this. So you, I'm gonna do, you're going to need the brown, the dark brown and the white for this candy googly eye bark. And I've got M&Ms here. These are just extra additions if you want, but you will for sure need the googly eyes if you can possibly get them. They are at Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby. They sell these in this little pack. I just wanna show you. And I will put the, this is exactly what you'll need. It comes in a little pack. They have big and small eyes. And I actually got candy corn and I cut them in half here. So you can see right here, I put them just for like some little eyebrows and some little teeth or funny faces. And I will be back to get started. You're also gonna need one baggie for this. We're gonna put it in a cup here and we're gonna put our dark chocolate chips in here. You'll need scissors to snip the little corner and a spoon to scoot it in. Also, I'm using a Wilton melting cup, which you will probably need. And I actually am using just a cup that I have, and this will work too. If it's a microwavable cup, you can use this to melt the chocolate. The very first thing you're going to do is spray your pan with some of this cooking oil, because we do not want this candy bark to stick on the bottom. Okay. Another thing we're going to do is I got a baggie with an edge on it, which I cut off. You don't have to get one. And what I'm going to do to help yourself make it easy, I'm going to put this in the cup, put it in a cup. If you don't have somebody to help you, which I did have someone to help me, they would hold the bag. But if you don't have anybody, you're gonna put it in here and you're gonna get ready to pour this chocolate in there. And then I'll show you how to do that. So we got this ready, we got this ready. Now let's put your half a cup of white melts and we're going to melt both of these together in 20 second intervals in the microwave. So here it is. We did uh, 25 seconds and see how it is starting to melt. You want to take it out one time and stir it even though it's not done and we're putting it back in for another 20 seconds. So look, this is done. I did it two times for 20 to 25 seconds. So first thing I'm going to do is pour this into the pan. And we are going to have to move quickly. So I've got it in there. I'm going to just stir it, like toss it around. And you can always get it straight. Just, I figured half a cup would be good and not too thick. So we're spreading this around. We're going to tap it. Try to get it, if you can, as even as you can, like kind of get it on the thin areas. Tap, okay, we had the other one in there and here it is. We're gonna do this as fast as we can. You're going to put it in there and you could see it going to into the bag at the corner. 
we're going to get this out you notice see it's at the corner we're going to snip it with the scissors just a little corner here and this is what you're going to do oh it's already dripping you're going to make circles one two three four let's try one maybe around the way it doesn't have to be perfect but the best you can and then after this i forgot to tell you you're going to need a toothpick or a skewer you're going to pull it out and up out and up it's going to kind of make like a fancy design but it could be like a little spider web if you want we don't want to scare the kids but um you could do as many little uh things as you want and now is the time to put the googly eyes you can put them wherever you want here's one here we'll do a couple of googly eyes at several of the sides and then maybe two more here and then i'm gonna put like maybe a nose and maybe this one can have like two eyebrows you know and maybe and a nose maybe we'll put more eyebrows over here so i cut the candy corns in half so they wouldn't be too bulky uh, or too thick i guess we'll just do this all the way around and um here we go oops that one fell hey maybe those could be earmuffs <laughs> however you want to decorate however the kids want to decorate it I'm going to also put extra little eyes all over. These are the minis, the mini little eyes kind of all over. And then, um, you know, this is going to be however you want to do it. And I also got many little, I got little mini M&Ms where you could actually put them, put that there, anywhere on here. I got chocolate and other M&Ms. Maybe put a googly eye in the center. Some chocolate chips, um, the white chocolate chips. And you can throw a couple of those in. And that's it. I think you can go ahead and keep decorating however you want. And we'll be get, we're gonna put this in the freezer for five minutes or less and we'll come back. We are back on, and guess what? I took it out, it was five minutes. Now I want you to come close. This is what we're going to do. We are going to just slide. It should come right up, and we can possibly slide this out. This is why you wanna butter your pan, or I mean, spray your pan very well. At this point, this is what you can do. You can break it up. The kids could have fun breaking it up. We can break it in sections like maybe you can get like look how cool this is we can get a googly eye set there i was going to show you, you can get some little party bags from joann's or michael's i put a gummy worm in there a few candy corns and there is the little guy and you can put more candies in there so you can actually just put a tape in the back and serve it like this with some more stuff or you can put a ribbon on like i did here so this is so easy and adorable. I did make some candy hearts here, which I'll show you real quick. Let me pull them out of the freezer. I got a candy mold. You can get this candy mold from Joann's. And you can also just um, make candy hearts like this. You put the candy um, chocolate melts in there in the mold and it makes little candy hearts. And you can fill them with some of these cute candy hearts in there too. So now's the time. I just want to try a little piece. I'm going to let you know what it tastes like. And mm, very delicious. I made them thinner so that way it's not too much candy. Very thin. You could see they're not very thick. I think this is an excellent and adorable idea for family, friends, neighbors, even I'm going to actually take a bag of this over to my mother-in-law and we're going to drop it off to her. You're so adorable and so yummy. You can actually put some more healthy things like pumpkin seeds and other nuts if you want, but adorable. And I'll be right back with the scripture of the day. I chose a couple of scriptures 
for safety and protection. And I have Psalms 119, 17. Hold me up and I will be safe. Psalms 4, 8. Lord, you make me to dwell in safety. Psalm 78, 53. Lead me safely and I will not fear. Let the sea overwhelm my enemies. Isaiah 14, 30. Let me lie down and rest in safety. Ezekiel 34, 28. I will dwell in safety and nothing shall make me afraid. Those are a couple of beautiful, great scriptures for safety and protection from our God. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. This was a really fast and easy treat for the children. I absolutely love this and I'm actually going to be doing this with my own grandchildren. And I just want to let you know that there's some really cool stuff coming up on Maria's Kitchen. I am going to be showing you how to make a wonderful pumpkin spice granola and it is absolutely wonderful and super easy so stay tuned subscribe and tell friends and family and I want you to have a safe weekend and come back again with Maria's Kitchen